All right, hey guys, what's up? What 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 is that? What are you recoiling? Okay, Dracula. Don't worry about me. <laughs> worry about yourself. No, I'm, I'm worried about you, dude. I'm very worried about you. So we're gonna talk about something pretty important this week: the history and come up of Bam Man Kevo. Not really, but does he rap? I don't know. Is he rap? I don't know what he does, but I'm very intrigued by his whole thing, his he's, shtick. He's very uh, quirked up in the <laughs> He's sweet. Fan Man Kevo, if you're watching this, come tap in. I want to be on the podcast. Come get on ours. Mainly, I want to be on yours. I want to talk about my hustle and my come up, because all the clips I'm seeing on TikTok are him like basically expl having credit card scammers explain how they commit fraud, federal wire fraud, which is kind of insane. As it gets warmer, we're going to talk about something that's important, because a lot of people are very musty. We're gonna talk about hygiene this week. Luke's hygiene tips, why it's important to only shower twice a month like Nate, and <laughs> what? <laughs> I shower every day. All right, well that's wasteful. All right, let's get into the product. Greg Lauren hat, what does this logo remind you of? The cab logo? Sure. I was like, why do we have one of his hats in here? The sleeveless Ralph Simmons shirt. This is kind of cool. This is like Country Mac from Always Sunny. You know, he had like the, the cut off sleeves. We got the like the wiry fishnet, kind of like flowy comb situation. We got the public enemy, St. Michael with tore up sleeves and Satan on, in the crosshairs. Gucci Palace loafers, these are kind of cool. What restaurant will be on the mouthpiece on that? Um, no, these got big like La Dive energy. Maybe like Frog Club or something, but yeah, yeah. We got the Chrome Hearts Triple Cross hat. Triple Cross the plug. I think I made that joke about four times because I've had this hat about four times. I'll make it again because it's a good one. All right. We got the, I, I think I had this back in the day, like tw early 2010s, the Navajo polo with the pocket. Uh, Prada Linea Rosa hat for all my sporty Euro trash rich bros. These freaky Celine baggy cargos, they're brand new. I don't love the like buttons exposed, you know? I'm not really into that. But yeah, these are nice. Chrome Hearts Maddie Boy. Do you have any guesses as to what it says on the back? It says sadistic lipstick. <laughs> this is so stupid. Yeah, shout out Maddie Boy, man. Speaking of Maddie Boy, we got the double layer. This is a really nice chrome hoodie. It's like two hoodies in one. Got the mouth. <laughs> what? We're not doing that anymore. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> you got the scroll. <laughs> These kind of have your name written all over them, Nate, but I figured they're good for the video. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> the derbies with the like cloud burst strap. <laughs> They're kind of sick. Exactly. <laughs> These are like kind of like futuristic Peaky Blinders vibe. The Prada. This cool Saint Laurent jacket with the like kind of like culturally appropriated sleeves. Prada double match. <laughs> the LV belt with the chain attached. Usually the chain breaks. This is in good shape. A lot of this PVC LV shit from Virgil's first couple seasons wasn't really made to like last. So this is cool that it's lasting. All right, talking about hygiene, right? Let me just preface this, guys, by saying, Nate, I'm not trying to offend you with anything I'm about to say here. <laughs> Smelling good's important. Looking good's important. Teeth, shower, exfoliation, nails, cologne. That's what I'm gonna bang on today. There's a lot more into this. I get a lineup twice a week. Some people get their hair cut less Shut often. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. What? Shut up. No, you fucking Yes, I do, bro. Why are you lying? I begin to hundred dollar lineup twice a week. 200 a week on haircuts. No, you don't. Yes, I do. The thing is, the barber comes to me so you don't see him. I'm gonna see your lineup real quick. You <laughs> should go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So a lot of people are musty. So there are a couple of reasons for this. Your breath could stink, you could stink. How do you prevent that? Breath, you gotta brush your teeth twice a day. A lot of people use like a Sonic Care toothbrush. I, I actually don't because I like, can, I, know I don't like charging it and shit. Basically, long story short, I just, I didn't, I haven't bought heads for mine, so I've just been using a regular toothbrush. Well, it's because I bought the bamboo heads that are supposed to use less plastic from Dimes, but they don't fit it. And they came in like nine layers of plastic, so it isn't any less plastic. And it says if you want to recycle them, you have to pull the bristles out, which is crazy. But yeah, toothbrush, you get a floss. I use the floss picks because I don't like using regular floss, but floss once a day at night, I was told by my dentist. Water pick, pro move, half mouthwash in the water pick liquid, half water. And then you got a tongue scrape. You buy a tongue scraper. I do that in the morning. That's how I got my gums to finally stop bleeding was the, all those. I've heard gingivitis is like contagious. Like you can get it from making out with people and shit. Someone you are interested in has bad breath, there's probably, it's probably a bad sign. 
So bad breath is one thing. Even veneers, if you get veneers, much like Bandman Kebo, we don't know how his breath is because veneers aren't a surefire sign of good dental hygiene. There's a really sweet video from back in the day of Birdman and he's talking about how he has to get his diamond slugs taken off three times a year and deep clean because he smokes too much and it's extremely painful every single time. And he's like waxing poetic about how excruciatingly painful it is while he's like smoking a blunt inside an elevator. All right, the next thing is, you know, you gotta wash. I shower every day, I try to. Sometimes I'll skip a day or two, but you know. I use a head scrub because I'm bald. And then I use this soap called Lumi, which is like an anti-stink soap. It's got like some sort of acid in it that makes you less musty. Because as a white person, I've been known to be musty. You know, like especially you're wearing vintage tees in the summer. You're drinking too much maybe. You're not showering as much as you should be. Also, let me go ahead and preface this. I'm a white guy. I don't need to wash my legs. It'll trickle down. I do wash my feet though and my butt. So why skip the legs? Cause it's, it's, it's just extra. I don't wash like my arms. I like wash my armpits. You don't wash your arms. What you the fuck is the point of scrubbing my arms? My because, arms aren't dirty. Because sweat comes out of it. Dog, you're insane. Limbs are, are asinine to wash. I got more, I got. I don't got time what? for that. What? <laughs> also, Nate, I, I used to live with Nate. He would take like 45 minute showers. I take like four minute showers. I'm banging it out. You know, and you gotta exfoliate your back and your neck and behind your ears because your shit will get dirty and musty. That's why I get a lot of shirts that are dirty there. It's because people don't exfoliate. You gotta get the exfoliating glove or the brush and really exfoliate it out. Manny petties are important. I get Manny petties. I get Manny twice a month, petty once a month. Look at that beautiful periwinkle blue. Um, what else is there? And then I guess like you gotta find a scent that matches you. Don't buy it at fucking Sephora or Ulta. You might as well be buying cologne from CVS if you're buying it at Ulta or Sephora. Let's be for real. I like Lalabo. I don't love Byredo, but it's fine. What's your favorite cologne that you're using right now? Uh, I have a few favorites. I'm not gonna give them all to you guys. Like, get your own, get in your own fucking lane. Figure it out. Just know that I smell good every day. What about deodorant? I use the natural deodorant. Um, I use salt and stone. That aluminum shit gives you Alzheimer's and it gets all in your clothes. It's bad for you. You need to you need to be able to sweat it out. I mean, I used the salt rock for a long time, which is just a salt rock that's supposed to kill bacteria. And I can tell you that I was I was musty when I was using that. <laughs> Vivid memories of that summer. You being like, what I say? I'm like, fuck yeah. Yeah, but it was I was I was hemorrhaging pheromones. What do you want me to say? <laughs> but yeah, that's right. That's what I got for this week. Speaking of hygiene, all this shit clean as fuck, bro. All these clothes clean as hell, bro. Um, yeah, is that cool? <laughs>